So yeah, this is good, silly fun. I have excited. no plan, but oh. this is fun. I have a plan. It is not going to help the story in the slightest. I have no idea what I'm doing. Welcome back to the Terrible Warriors. I am your playwright in this, our game of The Plays The Thing. Just Neacock. I am surrounded by my actors of this silly little troupe that was clearly put together by Lorelai's family. Somehow Dirk finagled his way into this scene and the two of them were just continuing to flirt with each other on stage instead of actually acting out the play as written. The playwright, this story is so screwed up already. Banquo's a horse now uh, and is in love with Lady Macbeth. Apparently they've just been getting it on the whole time while they've been off screen. Maybe there's some method acting, I'm not sure. Uh, we've got Macduff, who is the brother to Macbeth now, um, uh, left alone as Malcolm has fled for England, and we are about to head into Act 3. But of course, I am not alone around this table, or this would be a very quiet show. I couldn't talk that much in so many different character voices. I am surrounded by my actors of the stage, these characters in this play run by idiots. Uh, take your pick. My left or my right. Oh, hi. Free, fight for it. Bree Poison, I win. I win the fight. <laughs> Done. <laughs> and who are you playing, Bree? <laughs> I'm playing uh, somebody stop that Dirk guy vice uh, playing Macbeth. Dirk is playing Macbeth. Yeah. And Macbeth is really <laughs> Macbeth dumb. is slowly realizing oh, wait. that maybe not everything is about him and not everyone is in love with him. As a character, Dirk is still pretty... Kill all those people. Dirk is still pretty self-assured that everyone is in love with him. There's this girl in the second row who's been making eyes at him the uh -huh. whole time. It's been pretty good. But, like, Macbeth, She's as Macbeth, he's starting to realize that... She's just staring forward and listening to the screen. <laughs> you just happen to be in her field of vision. I'm, I could be into that. Yeah. Um, but Macbeth is starting to realize that perhaps not everyone is as into Macbeth as everyone is into Dirk. It's, it's a very upsetting experience today. <laughs> All right. And Natalie Wallace, who is playing Lilith. Just Lilith. No last She's playing no all the witches. Anything. Just playing the basic witches bitches. The betrayer of Macbeth. Yeah. Uh, and is ready to cause some shit. And, uh, of course, we've got Katie. Hello. I'm Katie Grabstus. I am wearing two mic covers on my <laughs> hands right now. That's real gross. A lot of people spit into those. Seriously? Yeah. That's, it's, it's, it's a mouth. That's what they're for. There's a lot of mouth. They're spit oh, sponges. Ah. <laughs> that is not clean. I was Old just saying Katie earlier, gross like, hands. we've got people here who like still battling off a cold, so I took their wind socks away Katie because gross these hands. are really, don't Katie touch them. Hands. You've been gross. watching me fiddle with these <laughs> for the past. Oh. They're pretty entertaining. Okay. Betrayal. Them, uh, they're just off my hands now. Just don't touch your face. <laughs> cool. So I'm still Katie Grabstis. I am playing Lady Macbeth, and I am screwing a horse. That's true. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> playing that horse. Uh, horse. It's Will Mitchell coming from Edmonton. Uh, I am playing Banquo the horse, uh, played by Henry Marsham, uh, as well as uh, the heir to the throne, Malcolm, who has fled to England to both find a wife and an army. And last but not least, uh, playing not, the brother of Macbeth. Yes, now. somehow Macduff is now Macbeth's brother. Uh, I am uh, Nug Nargang playing the actor Edmund Redmond, who's a sweet, kindly old man who's been around the boards quite a few times. Hey, uh, he's still alive. He's, yeah, Aww. people are always surprised yeah. to find out he's not dead. Much better than I remember. <laughs> so we begin after Macbeth's soliloquy, where he finally figured out, oh, right, that prophecy is about Banquo's children becoming king. And, and they're not also going to be my children. And he's now been with Lady Macbeth since Act One. Uh, Macbeth, fearful that the second half of the prophecy will come true, orders Banquo murdered. The murderers kill Banquo, but fail to kill his son, Fleance? Yes, Flance. 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 Macbeth will be upset at the news, but is even more upset when Banquo's ghost starts to haunt his coronation feast. He gonna be upset by that. When the feast end, Macbeth learns that Macduff has fled for England and suspects that he will ally himself with Malcolm. Ooh. Good. Ooh. Uh, Malcolm's already gone to England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, Macduff is so we begin to, uh, Act 3 with Macbeth, fearful of the second half of that prophecy, ordering Banquo murdered. <laughs> I, I come on stage actually fearful because I've been talking to the playwright during yeah. our, our little intermission there who is basically like, you start playing this right or I fire you, yeah. you son of a bitch. Keep on script. <laughs> come on actually fearful. Just like in Seventh Sea where I was constantly afraid I was going to have dirt carried. Remember your from lines. Me. Um, so I... 
come on stage and I'm having uh, Malcolm or <laughs> Banquo. Look, I already can't remember character <laughs> names. This, this is, is working beast. real well. Malcolm has fled for England. Malcolm went to England. Banquo, and Banquo is going to become king because of this prophecy, and now you're figuring it out. So you are ordering to get Banquo murdered. But Banquo is in love with Lady Macbeth, and Lady Macbeth is in love with Banquo. I'm going to spend a story point yeah. cool. and uh, go on stage. Okay. Nice. So and is this Macbeth happening smoking? at the feast? Lady Macbeth and Malcolm are now. We're not at the this feast is, yet. This is the, the palace set is the royal feast. So this oh. is all sort of going to happen around the royal feast setting. Um, yeah, there's the whole B plot with like a play within yeah. a play happening in the background. That's Hamlet. I know. I'm, no, I'm, it's the same thing. <laughs> I'm fucking it's all the same thing. <laughs> Quick question. If I want to use my offstage ability, do I need to stop and do an edit to do a story change? What is the offstage ability? <laughs> uh Basically, I can whisper a nasty rumor to a character in a scene for a token, and then also use another token to make them believe it. Yes, so you would oh, spend yeah. the story point, but you give it to the player that you're doing the rumor to. Okay. It would act kind of like a compel. I Okay, so as Lady Macbeth is going on stage, I am going to... So, I know we don't like each other, but, uh, you Wait, know... like actors or characters? Both. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> like, you know that Dirk guy that's playing your husband in this whole damn thing? What? There's a guy named Dirk on stage? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, so, I wish uh, he'd speak up sometime. I am hearing wounded. that <laughs> your husband your is going to going pull on. all the funny of this production because of that guy. You should probably yeah. get rid of him. Uh, obviously. I, so I'm spending a thing that yeah. she believes me that yeah. he is the reason why her husband's going to pull out all the money. And she yeah. should get rid of him. So give the two points to okay, Lady Macbeth. And, um, yeah, so Lady Macbeth. This uh, production's gonna go going to go nowhere. going to kill this production now, you believe. So you should you kill him. Out, and Macbeth is going to order the death of Banquo, the horse, of course. She's going to become king. So, really? Scotland. Kill Dirk. It's a lot of fodder to work with. Oh. Oh. You already got story points. <laughs> <laughs> so, this scene will begin with Macbeth and Lady Macbeth as Macbeth <laughs> is ordering the murder of Banquo. Who? Prophecy. So, I come, oh my goodness. come ah. striding out onto stage. Me too. I'm got, striding too. You're coming with me. And I'm I've striding. got we've got several uh, lackeys following us, and I am laying out the law, and I'm saying, I want Banquo dead Wait, within the hour. Whoa, hold your horses. Uh-huh. I, I'm <laughs> you trying want to. Banquo dead? Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. What did that fine fellow do to you? I, I, you're going to have to explain this to me in great detail. What, what did that fine fellow do to you? Are we going to do this in front of the uh, servants? I don't want to go into the details. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of interested in the uh, details, and I would like to hear them later. I'm going but... to direct our ham into a soliloquy. Which, for which ham? ham. Oh, uh, definitely Lady Macbeth. Oh, <laughs> uh, lip sync for your life both at the same time. <laughs> what has Banquo done for me? Well, besides screwing our courage to the sticking places. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey If it's sticking, you might need to try a little harder, I'm just saying. <laughs> if it's sticking, stop using the maple syrup. <laughs> I'm going to move away from that one. Um, he has done so, so much for us. He has put his life on the line. We have been through hell, my dear husband. Hell, I say, and Banquo has been there for every gallop of the way. And I have to say, I would follow that horseman into battle if my life depended on it. When our actions do not, our fears do make us traitors. So my dear husband, we cannot let fear make us the traitors that we do spit upon. Wow. Yes. The murderers kill Banquo, but <laughs> yeah. fail to kill his son. They've been, they, they like, basically, as you were saying that, I just kind of grabbed them and shooed them off, and they and went and did it while Banquo you were in the talking. background. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm distraught. Don't That's amazing. Get rid of the son of a bitch. <laughs> They come back like just as you are as you are finishing that. If you yeah. want to kill Dirk, that'll be an edit, <laughs> and you have the knife to deal wounds. You'll get the bonus die, and would not kill Dirk, but kill Ban- <laughs> Mac- Macbeth. Does and, Lady and Macbeth so, want to kill Macbeth? Yeah, she does. Can I do? <laughs> can I do one thing real quick first, though? As they as they come back, 
Um, they hand Dirk the the knife they used to do it, right? A la kind of yeah, Assassin's you... Creed, like, look, I did the thing. Um, and, and Dirk looks at it, and, and as an actor, Dirk is now upset that you've kind of stolen his thunder, and now the audience loves you, right? So mm-hmm. he has the dagger, he takes the dagger, he says, is this a dagger <laughs> which I see before me? The handle toward my hand? It just, like, wipes it off on your oh. doublet oh. and then hands it back oh. to the My husband the paid 700 for pounds for this doublet. Do you know what the dry cleaning costs are? Oh, there's no way we're going to get out this damn spot. <laughs> I'll be <laughs> king. I'll take care of it. I have a feast to prepare for. Have you drawn my bath? <laughs> Um, Lady Macbeth, would you like to make an edit? Uh, yeah, I'd like to pull out my knife and try and stab Macbeth. Okay, so that will be a Logos roll to change the entire play. All right. And uh, you, I know you only have one for that, but you do have another die that you get for using your knife. Mm-hmm. You do have another one for being in love with Banquo. Yep. So you're going to get two for that. Oh, okay. And uh, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, the Maiden. You don't trust Macbeth, so let's throw mm-hmm. in another die. All right. And uh, But also she's sworn to me. What does that get me? That would what be, does that get me? What does sworn? Uh, <laughs> what does it say on his cheek? Uh, look at me. I'm so I'm too pretty to die. Um, look at him. Um, <laughs> sworn, sworn, uh, to sworn, sworn. Uh, gain two dice when obeying your oath. Your loyalty goes beyond oath. Follow your liege even when dismissed from service. But can I change who my liege is? That would be a separate, complete Ed- other ah. edit. Um, so, killing Macbeth in Macbeth as Lady Macbeth. Is brilliant. Is brilliant. Um, Fifteen. So ah. Just roll, roll. Roll all those dice, unless you can uh, 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 add in any other dice. Can I? Can I cut her cut? <laughs> you can. Six. We can Counter do another cut. edit after the death. Okay. Maybe you weren't dead all along. We can do soap 19. operas. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. I have nineteen. So that does it. Yeah. All right. So you definitely. Uh, so yeah. you, you mortally wound uh. Macbeth. Wow. As he's calling for a bath after killing Ben. <laughs> Lilith is cheering from the background. <laughs> and <laughs> this is a tragedy. Uh, Macbeth. Oh, and there's a cool staging like with like the bathtub edit? and the blood. So, oh, go Good back. To, we go back to action. Would you like to make an edit, Macbeth, or would you like to have your death soliloquy first? <laughs> Can I make my death soliloquy pretend to be dead for a little while and then come back after a bunch of the danger stuff has happened? Is that an option? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I was actually going to say, though, because we're about to have... Um, Macbeth is upset at the news that Banquo's son is still alive uh, and Banquo's ghost starts to haunt the coronation. I was going to have you haunt Lady Macbeth at the coronation. Oh. Dude, we can both haunt her. <gasps> oh, we're going to be bros forever, dude. <laughs> Can't yeah. So you do the soliloquy, bro. and then Ghosts. you meet, you meet, you meet, b- bank bro, uh, <laughs> bro, 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 in, in bro, 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 and you both come back as ghosts. McBro. Oh my god! If he, if he is my bro and also a ghost horse, does yeah. that make? Him oh yeah, brony? you come riding in on <laughs> the bro, bank bro. Oh. Ghost Rider. Uh, and I like the idea that we come Ghost in Rider. through, like, the memorial portrait of us, kind of like uh, right. Vigo from Ghostbusters 2. Right. Macbeth is about okay. to die in Act let me, 3. Uh, spoilers. Let me, flop, let me flop into the bathtub. Here, here's your soliloquy. You get your death scene, though. And Banquo, you died off camera, so you don't get a death scene. No, get I don't death get death one. I'm, I'm a spectral horse. I'm fine with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, stabbed... And as you stab me, why don't you just tell me that Banquo's son still lives just to twist the knife a little bit. Oh, and by the way. And then the twist way, the knife a little bit. And then, literally twist the knife a little bit. Uh, uh, is into it, though. Is yours? <laughs> what? Is Fleance your yes. son? Yes. Oh. Fleance You've is alive. You've been together forever. And my yeah, son. Yeah, this wasn't our first tryst. He's a fucking centaur. <laughs> yes! yes! God damn it, I'm into those. Why did you just tell me this as I'm dying? <laughs> this is a fetish all. I thought I'd never achieve. My apologies to the Stratford Festival. <laughs> <laughs> I don't apologize for anything. Um, so flop into the tub. It's just so fetching. I'm so wet. Little hair flip. Oh, Dirk um, bath scene. Dirk bath scene. Shirtless, Hashtag Dirk bath scene. The shirt just somehow goes missing. Yeah. yeah it just, just As you rips fall. The shirt. Yeah, it happens to just, when, when the stab comes, cuts all the buttons away. <laughs> <laughs> go flying into the audience. <laughs> the shirt goes flying the into the audience. The girl in the road to that girl, the blind the girl in road to it just hits her in the face. <laughs> she couldn't see it coming. Um, and Dirk just 
Ugh. I don't have a line left. It was nice to see you too, my <laughs> wife. Oh, I loved you so. Point and now puns. you have betrayed me. And thus, this will not be the last you see of your beloved husband or Banquo, who I will find in the afterlife, I swear to God. Ugh! He just dies. <laughs> So now Banquo's dead, and, Mac ah! and Macbeth's dead. And Lady Macbeth is now the villain of this story. And, uh... Oh, just you fucking wait. Lady Macbeth is going to be haunted by Banquo and Macbeth at her coronation feast. And when the feast ends, Lady Macbeth will learn that Macduff has fled for England and suspects that he will ally himself with Malcolm. That's what you get for killing me before so I we can still tell have you that. Mac <laughs> we still have Macduff and Malcolm. She never learned... And maybe that's part of your soliloquy, where you're like, <laughs> I never told her. <laughs> um, and now Lady Macbeth is pulling a Cersei Lannister on this whole story. Sounds about right. And yep. uh, so so we, we pick up Act 3 <laughs> after the death of Macbeth. Now it, Lady Macbeth is even more upset by these haunting ghosts <laughs> and learning that Macduff has fled for England now, will ally himself with Malcolm and take the throne away from her. Question: Do I get a, a hot pottery scene like from Ghost, but it's, it's with a horse? <laughs> no, he's my bro now. No, okay. <laughs> no they're just you do, but we're on you're, both they sides. They're riding around the coronation feast, <laughs> just making all, and no one else can see them. You're <laughs> the only one. Yeah. Story edit, as I hit that. Uh, so because she realizes there's ghosts, she realizes she needs to call in Ghostbusters, which happen to be the witches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Who are you so gonna call? Calling gonna in call? the witches. To Basic like witches. Cleanse. Basic witches. Basic witches. <laughs> to cleanse this castle of like yeah. do an exorcism. <laughs> Basically. Okay, so witches and Lady Macbeth at the coronation feast with a bunch of with like bunch prankster of... ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> and action. Oh, I love being queen. I know, right? Whoa, holy shit! Who are you? I am like all of you. Who are shit? All of you. I am. Have you not noticed the ghosts in this place? Oh god, I thought I was the only one who could see them. No, like they're here to haunt you, so I have been kind of hired, kind of just showed up, mm -hmm. kind of just wanted to go to a party, um, and like I'm here to take care of them. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm gonna be up. I would, I would like to, as a ghost, be walking around the table and sticking certain spectral body parts into everyone's wine. Oh my god, gross. <laughs> uh, that's real gross. <laughs> Super it's your gross, fingers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely the fingers. It's a whole new meaning to the term finger food. Oh. <laughs> you don't get points for nope. puns. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> they just happen. <laughs> Cutting you off. <laughs> yeah, I've been, uh, Banquo? At Spectral Banquo has been writing uh, horrible, like, insulting breakup poetry on every surface in his <laughs> ghost blood. <laughs> he took it real bad. Uh, Banquo, like, uh, no, that doesn't, that doesn't, no, that's not going to. It's not going to show up well with a filter. You need to uh, not do that. We had such a good thing. Macbeth yeah. could be king, and then my kids could be king afterwards, and I'd get my lady love in the meantime. But you betrayed me. Uh, I'm going to go listen to my chemical romance. I know. She's the worst, isn't she? Banquo, Banquo, your beautiful centaur son will be king. Is thou not enough? The pain of the betrayal is too much. I only wish to help her, and I cannot assure that my son's safety uh, will let him take the throne. Don't worry. I have a plan. Let me just talk to these witches. I'll, I'll be... I'll be RB. Okay, how do I get rid of them? Okay, so, like, I totally <laughs> have an excellent plan. Okay. And, like, it totally involves you getting okay. uh, mm -hmm. shit-faced on this wine here. Yeah, that sounds great. And I poison the wine. Hold hold on. Let me just, let me stick my finger in the wine. Oh, hold I, on. Okay. I'm also going to poison the wine. Yeah, I don't want this I'm wine that, anymore. Girl. Um, the old ghost poison. <laughs> You've ruined Act 4, by the way. So uh, the whole thing is now going to happen in this act uh, as I continue to direct you all somehow. Originally, Macbeth would return to see the witches who tell them that they should fear Macduff and none of women should born harm Macbe uh, Macbeth. Rule is assured until the forest moves to the castle. Macbeth is elated when the witches march a line of kings in front of him. Banquo's ghost walks with royal marks. monarchs. Macbeth, filled with frustration, orders Macduff's family killed. So what's happening now is Lady <laughs> Macbeth is already with the witches. The witches 
It's saying no, none of woman born shall harm Lady Macbeth, and the rule is assured until the forest moves to the castle. That stuff okay. still stays. Uh, Lady Macbeth will be elated by this, and the witches are going to march both Macbeth and Banquo ghosts as royal monarchs before Lady Macbeth, uh, and uh, frustrated with all of this, ordering Macduff's family killed. Because you've learned, you're learning at some point Macduff has fled for England. Mm. Don't forget. So. How, you gotta, you gotta learn that, or edit it out and spend the dice. Okay, stop so, marching these like, same two people in front of me over and over again. I'm tired of seeing them. I know. I mean, I mean, what if? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, but what if? Because Macbeth knows that that um, Malcolm Mac- Macduff, who, Malcolm is head to uh, England. Macduff yeah. is following. Yes. So Macbeth knows that Malcolm went to England. So what if I just like sit on the table beforehand and I'm like. Guess what I never told you. I'm not listening. <laughs> I'm not listening. Okay, oh. so like... <laughs> Yo, go ahead. Keep telling me. You you oh, you're going to regret that because yeah, yeah. someone went to England to Wait. go get troops and maybe Wait. they told me about it. Wait, who haven't we seen for a while? Who haven't we seen for a while? Malcolm. <gasps> Mick Jafferino, oh a.k.a. brother-in-law. Oh my god, and Don't I can't sell and I can't send Macbeth to go kill these people no. anymore. Wait a minute. You just killed Macbeth's you just killed Macduff's brother. I did, didn't mm. I? Whoops. Oh, <laughs> oh boy, Hashtag he loves me. <laughs> oh, time to get my knife again. We're going to England. <laughs> Road trip <laughs> <laughs> Um Story point. That's so the play's going to England. Uh, so the final field terrible battle it's actually called terrible battle which is great for this stupid <laughs> podcast roll, roll credits you want to change the final act to not be around the castles of Macbeth but to be now in England to cut off Mal- Macduff and Malcolm's troops before they even get here yes okay that will be an edit <laughs> <laughs> story point What are we rolling into this? It is, uh, it's an ethos. You're changing the scenery. Oh, great. And so that's three points on that. You're also changing another point, uh, another die. Uh, so roll in a, uh, so you got four. You have uh, sworn to, you're the maiden. You don't trust anyone. Take two more dice. Uh, you're using the knife to wound someone eventually. <laughs> so take another dice. And uh, what else you got? I think that's all, right? Um, yeah, and I've got the sworn to Macbeth, but that's kind of out the window at this point. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that didn't work out so well. Not really. You're sworn to Macbeth, your name, your last name, uh, your yeah. namesake. To to my like to descendants. You. Yeah. 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 So uh, roll in, beating twenty. You gotta roll. Oh yeah, love that foley. Oh, those are some high numbers. Yes, they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, that's a ten at least. Four, six. You definitely made it. Ten. Oh, she's made it. Nine. 24. 24. 24. All right. Well, next week on The Terrible Warriors, the final act in Macbeth (laughs) in England, uh, where Lady Macbeth is going to ride in leading an army against Macduff and Malcolm to crown herself Queen of Scotland. Apparently Banquo and I are just going to be ghost bros for life. Yeah. 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 Pretty much. The witches are just basically trying to get her to drink the poisoned wine. (laughs) Um, it's all she wants in this life. This will be interesting. Uh, we'll figure out what happens in the final episode. So thanks for joining us here on the Terrible Warriors. I am your playwright. I've given up. I've uh, this script is over. Um, I uh, knew I should have. Uh, I knew I should have followed my parents' advice and never gone into theater. Here we are. <laughs> Too, too, never, real. Oh, yeah. too real. Never, too real. Yeah, too real. Never cast too Dirk real. as the lead role. <laughs> really, I've learned a valuable lesson here. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now I can be on the, sta- on the stage whenever I want because we'll, the other actors can We were see joking me that the playwright is actually <laughs> Francesco <laughs> Florento. <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, I love it. Did I do this? Um, <laughs> all part of some plot in Avalon. Anyways, neither here nor there. We'll find out next week how the hell this play ends. The play's the thing, and I'm your playwright, Justin Eacock, surrounded by my actors. Nug Nargang. We'll get Nug in. He's going to be part of the finale as well. I'll be in this one, I promise. I've been in England the whole time. (laughs) We're bringing the play to you. I'm (laughs) Katie Grafstis. Natalie Wallace. Free Poison. Will Mitchell. Till next time, everyone. Be good to each other. 
an appointment after this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the final act of a tragedy. We're all gonna die. Oh, I'm so. I'm already are there, But Malcolm's gonna be king, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but so could McDuff. I, but like realistically, the witches are gonna be the only ones left. Yes, of course. I have this like head cannon now of Ghost Banquo being real sad, oh, and uh, oh, Ghost oh, Macbeth sitting with him, right, and just telling him really oh, shitty pun jokes oh, to make him feel better. Oh god! Oh yeah! <laughs> right, so he's just like, "Hey, you want to hear a clean joke?" You're right. I took a back with bubbles. Yeah. You want to hear a dirty <laughs> one? Yeah. Sure. Bubbles is the name of a man. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs>